Hey, um, thank you for joining today. And um, so we are starting our very first unit, which we are going to look okay. into understanding computer systems. So um, how this unit work, how this uh, course work, there are six mandatory units. And for each unit, we will cover uh, different tutorials. And uh, in each tutorial, we will have specific topics which you will learn and they will help you to develop your assignment. And uh, once you have completed your six assignment, you now pass um, your qualification and you receive your level three diploma. So this, uh, okay. so this unit is a, a computer system, which is uh, pretty much a theoretical unit. So let me just make it like Presentation. Yeah. Um, uh, presentation mode. So uh, for today's session, we are just simply going to introduce a computer system. We're going to look at the types of uh, personal computers, uh, laptop, net, uh, netbook, smartphone, and all these IoT devices. Then we'll now look into the environment and where, in, where we're going to find these uh, technologies. So um, our aim of, for this unit we, um, is to introduce uh, to the learner the basic hardware and software components that makes, a, makes up a computer system. And for, uh, and for the learner to carry out a basic installation and configuration. So this unit is uh, designed to assist the learner to understand the basic component of computer system and how they are uh, adopted to individual needs. So as we all know, a computer system is just the combination between hardware component and software components. So what do we mean by hardware? Hardware, we're just looking into any uh, physical component which we're able to touch, which is tangible, we, which we are able to um, purchase, install, maintain, or any type of um, um, thing that we want to do with our hardware component. Why, when it comes to software, we're just looking into um, how the, the behavior, the, how our computer uh, responds to our input. So when it comes to software, there are the various types of software where we have application software, uh, web, web software, web applications, and um, embedded systems. So we have various types of um, software applications, which we'll look in more detail uh, in the following tutorial. So I uh, uh, have a really nice video, which I will okay. do share with you. See my screen? Yes, it's just loading. Computers are classified into many types based upon their size and speed. 
The fastest and most expensive computers are supercomputers. They are large and have multiple CPUs so can handle many instructions in parallel. They are used for complex calculations such as weather forecasting, nuclear science, rocket launching, etc. Some examples of supercomputers are Summit, Sierra, Deep Blue and Param made by CDAC in India. Next are mainframe computers. They are designed to handle huge volumes of data and information. While supercomputers are typically focused to perform few critical tasks, mainframes perform multiple instructions in parallel for multiple users. They also have multiple processors, hence are fast and expensive. They are typically used by large organizations for bulk data processing. Some examples are IBM Z, Univac, etc. Computers are classified into many types. Mainframe and micro computers. Multiple users. They also have multiple processors, hence are fast and expensive. They are typically used by large organizations for bulk data processing. Some examples are IBM Z, Univac, etc. Many computers are also called as mid range servers. They lie somewhere between mainframe and micro computers. They are typically multi user systems and have more memory and larger storage capacity than microcomputers. They are used as web servers, database servers, gaming servers. Examples are Magnum, Wax, etc. Microcomputers typically are single CPU, single user system used at home, office, school, shops. They are further categorized as personal computers, workstations, laptops, mobiles, embedded computers. The personal or desktop PCs are the most common computers with monitor, keyboard and mouse typically kept on a desk. They are used for browsing or gaming, learning and small business use. Workstations are like desktop computers but have more powerful CPU with higher memory and processing powers. They are more expensive and are used for doing some niche work like designing, animation and complex mathematical calculations. Laptops are portable computers which integrate all components of a computer into the size of a notebook. Hence they are also sometimes called as notebook computers. Today we have smartphones and touch screen tablets which can easily be carried anywhere. While they were initially meant for limited capability, but now they are used for gaming, video and high-end cameras. Many of the devices today have an embedded small computer like smart TVs, watches, cars, microwaves. They are typically programmed to perform some set tasks required as per the device. For this video, give us a brief understanding of what we will cover today. So yeah, the video introduced the types of computers that we can find out there. Our reasons for returning to education were for a change in career. All the automotive industry. I wanted something more hands-on to take control of my life. What I like most about my college is its location. Victor, who's speaking? All Everybody's really friendly and everybody's really supportive. My sister is very friendly and it's good at the night as well. My... Yeah, so I uh, apologize for that. I want to share it again. Okay, so as I was saying, um, right. video, video introduced the types of uh, computer systems that we are possible to find out there. 
So depending on where you're working and the level of IP uh, that you will be required to work with, in a certain case, you will be required to work with these machine supercomputers or mainframe, which obviously the, these are can be find just within large organization, which have to handle large amount of data and they need to be able to process them in a very effective way. So this could be big companies which they provide um, any type of um, IT system or IT uh, solution, or even uh, cloud computing uh, solution where we can find this uh, large amount of uh, these massive uh, mainframes. Uh, also, you have workstation where, where it's more um, easier to find when it comes to a enterprise or a medium sized business where you will now be given your workstation and you now have to carry your day-to-day -day, uh, activity depending on your job role. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, a mainframe computer uh, con uh, holds all the data of, I mean, holds all the server data and et cetera, et cetera, from organizations and companies, right? Yes, big organizations like okay. IBM, or any sort of uh, Infosys or any KPMG or these Got massive it. companies who are handling all the data. That's where we'll find these, these mainframes. You can see that in a medium sized business. Also, in uh, other types of uh, computer system, we can see server as well, which we all know, which uh, uh, they have the purpose to uh, simply store our data. So they are type of, they're basically a type of uh, data center. And uh, nowadays this server can be accessed through uh, virtual machines. So I don't know if you're familiar to software like a virtual box or VMware, which allows us to, uh, with these technologies, we are now allowed to connect to multiple PCs and manage all the data from one single server or one single database. Also we have right. embedded, embedded system, which we now specialize in a computer system, which are all integrated into other devices or, or product. So it is basically um, this software, which are now installed. So as a company, we will deliver, we have a product, we have a software, and now, and delivering it to our customers, our stakeholders, and this can now be installed and uh, used for them. So the embedded of, systems are pre-made systems for yes, a specific no, use. They are for specific use and they will now be uh, installed uh, into our clients' uh, computers. Right, okay. Moving on, we have mobile devices, which everyone is familiar with. We all know the utility of mobile devices. So biggest brands are uh, Samsung and Apple, and they often they will have their own operating system. Well, uh, so Apple does have its own built-in operating system, while uh, Samsung outsourced from Android, and Android is an application with a operating system, which is built with Java and Cortil. And uh, it, uh, Java is a really good programming language, but we can find this in many, many type of um, um, systems. Also, we have IoT devices, which is an emerging technologies, uh, which is Internet of Things. And uh, these IoT devices uh, could be our smart TV, Alexa, Oh, oh so, so that's what the Internet of Things uh, are. Device. I was wondering. Like, I've heard the term before, but I uh, didn't understand what it's meant or what they are. IoT devices. Yeah. IoT devices are um, all these devices which um, they got, of, they. Um, for, for instance, I don't know if you're familiar to uh, Amazon Alexa. Hello? 
Hello, Mom. Hello. Are you familiar to Alexa? Amazon Alexa. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mom. Hello. Can you hear me now? Robert, can you hear me? Uh, at Okay, so as we were saying, um, there is a new emerging technology, which is IoT, Internet of Just Things. Just one moment, if you don't mind. Something's wrong with my listening uh, headset. Just one moment. Okay, can you try speaking? Yes, can you hear me now? Okay, right, yes, perfect. You were saying? Yeah, so I was explaining what IoT devices are. So I don't know okay. if, you're if you're familiar with Amazon Alexa. Oh, I'm, yes, I'm very familiar with Amazon and Alexa. So that's an example of IoT device. What they do is a type of embedded system which collects data from us and stores this data into the cloud. So by reproviding this information to the cloud, the cloud engineers, cloud architecture, they're now able to uh, improve the system of these devices. So another example could be your smart home TV. That's a good example of IoT device. Right. Okay, understood. Yeah, so coming to personal computer, so uh, there are various type of um, computers. So when it comes to desktop, there are two, I'll probably say actually three major uh, brand. So we have um, Windows, which is a operating system. Yes, have, I have Windows. Yeah, then we have Macintosh, and then we have Linux operating system. Um, normally to run Linux operating system, you now require to install a virtual machine. Yes, be, I heard about that. Which could be uh, a virtual box, so VMware or uh, Hyper-V from Microsoft, or there are tons of other uh, virtualization uh, applications. Uh, also, we have um, uh, laptops, which uh, everyone are familiar with. Then we have yes. tablet, tablet and smartphones. Now we're going to evaluate 
the role of a computer system in different environment. So we already um, mentioned uh, mainframe and supercomputers where we can find them in uh, enterprises, in big companies. While when it comes to educational purpose, we will now uh, have uh, normal PCs or laptops. So when it comes to a college, university, or even high school, we will now have workstation where students can now access this PC for carry out activities such as coursework or preparation for exams. Right. Also, when it comes to healthcare environment, we know that um, technology has has brought a lot of um, advantage to healthcare sector in the recent decades where now it is possible to have surgeries without without a human intervention. So these machines can literally um, take a surgery without anyone having to touch the patient. So when it comes to healthcare, technology has already has brought significant improvement. And uh, I think in the future with AI, artificial intelligence and all this emerging technology, there, will yes. be, there wouldn't be uh, the requirement of uh, any sort of surgeon who now have consultant and people that they just program these machines and they can now operate. <laughs> Also, we Do you are, think AI is um, a good thing when it comes to the healthcare environment technology? Yes, I would say this is a, we are we are moving into a, an era which in which I'm seeing a lot of changes. So I think this is going to be a really really uh, positive thing because you now even we can benefit from it because I think we can now increase our life expectancy. Where I think oh, people. Okay on average can live more than 100 years because this technology is going very quick, is growing so fast and AI is already here. We're not talking about future anymore because we're already in the future Like AI is everywhere. Yes, and, um, like chat GPT. Yes, so there are so many applications, all these softwares are built with Python, Python programming language. And uh, yes. these uh, AI models that can do any sort of prediction and they can improve our lifestyle. And this is just something that you keep improving. So we have scientific um, research environment. So we know when it comes to research or even uh, data analysis, how important is the use of technology, which allows us to uh, get more insights and uh, um, make new discovery. So it is really important in the science field, the use of um, computers. Also, when it comes to industrial environment, we mentioned enterprises, but there is also industrial one when it comes to uh, for instance, engineers and all these professional jobs, they do work with uh, uh, software. So I know engineers, they work with CAD, which allows them to create um, three-dimensional uh, images or uh, representation of buildings or whatever they are looking to um, create. So all this, uh, this is done through and all this uh, uh, programming is done through PLC, which is programmable, programmable logic controller, which allows them to create these uh, softwares. And these softwares can now be used to uh, create new machinery or any type of um, professional job that an engineer might be required to do. Then we have um, leisure. So when it comes to home, depending on the nature, the, the reason why we'll, we'll need PC, we now have different type of PC. You might have it just for leisure or you might need it for 
professional work because nowadays there are people working from home. So they might require to set up an office in their house and they will now require a different type of computer rather than one used for um, laser. And also uh, there are pieces for entertainment. So I don't know if you're really into gaming or any type of entertainment, there are specific pieces. So when you look into gaming ones, they have a really uh, good graphical card. So the quality, the resolution of these pieces is really good. So to make- Yeah, them, I have one in my laptop as well. Yeah, to make it as much as realistic as possible. They will have a really powerful RAM. Maybe I'll say uh, 16 gig. DDR4. Or, or 32 or even more just to make uh, our PC faster and make as good as a PlayStation or a Xbox. <laughs> right. Yeah, so our last task, we're just going to identify a range of computer system that we use. So um, I feel like this is not much relevant because we do know that nowadays there are, we all, we all have uh, a lot of technology around us. So this unit is just, this learning outcome is pretty much easy because- Oh, um, that was great. Okay, is there any question for today's session? Um, any question, 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 question. Um, you don't mind if I read over this in, what's it, what's it called, Moodle, right? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's, that would help you for when it comes to writing your assignment, because- right. uh, Can I also preview the next session's material or should I, or do you prefer me to wait? Um, so what happens is that um, we're having some IT uh, maintenance going on. So I do not have access to Moodle as well. So I'm not able to provide that for you, but I think uh, the other ITs, they're working on making this available during this week. So as soon as I get access back, I will, I will forward it to you, okay? Okay, so uh, you're going to be my permanent yeah, teacher, right? Permanent. You're not just for this week. No, I'll be the permanent for the week. Oh, okay, good. So for the rest of the course, or is it a different person every week? No, I'll be the tutor for the entire course. Okay, good. Uh, I don't have any more questions. Okay. Thanks. Then, okay. Then I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye.